I don't know what you guys think. Uh, is, do y'all think the sport is is um, is dying? Um, looks like there's a lot of fights that are being promoted as uh, big. Uh, a lot of people are being promoted as big stars or trying to be pushed. And um, PBC uh, PBC group uh, seems to have a, our PBC group seems to have a lot of fighters, but they're um, they're putting a lot of caution and um, they're spacing out the time that they fight once a year. Um, and the only fighter that's fighting more than once a year seems to be Canelo. And because of that, he's the only fighter, in my opinion, that is carrying the sport uh, every time he fights. Every time he fights, he's going to knock someone out. Uh, he's not always fighting the most interesting fighters, but huge pay-per-view stars never are anyways. Uh, Floyd Mayweather never did, and when he did fight a major pay-per-view star, um, he wouldn't fight him in the same fashion that he would fight a low-level. A low-level fighter, um, he would get in the ring and, and come forward and, and fight him and and he would be able to display his um, matrix-like um, uh, reflexes. Um, when he fought a, a high-level opponent like Man like Manny Pacquiao, there was so much running, and um, there wasn't very in there wasn't very consistent interaction throughout the fight. That, um, and I've said this time and time again. It's it's so much that it's almost like he's he, he pretty much fights six rounds. And then when you analyze it, it's hard to determine whether these are fake or real fights. Um uh so I just I just really don't know. Um looking back at those, um it, it's either tactic or um when he's fighting that level of fighters with that much money on the line, I really don't know if any of this stuff is even real anymore, to be honest. Um, but with that, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And, um, to me, Canelo is carrying the sport of boxing. He is a new face of the sport and, uh, pretty much every other boxer is not really close to his level. Um, uh, at this point, he already, um, he, or he already, um, beat everyone at, I believe is the one... Of the 165 division, the lightweight division, the uh, middleweight division, and then he's 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 then uh, he's ducking. Um, then he went on to duck um, or supposedly duck uh, Charlo and Charlo and Benavidez, and then they're supposed to make they're trying to make him fight um, uh, Triple G again, um, and even 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 him. He, he hasn't had any trilogies. That would be his only trilogy. Um, so you see some softness coming through. Manny Pacquiao had like three, like more than three trilogies. He had a trilogy with, um, with I think, I think he had two with Barrera, three with uh, Morales, and then he had um, Marquez. He had the Marquez uh, fight. So who the hell has had any? Who the hell's had three trilogies? This this is why this is why boxing is dying, in my opinion. Um, you don't get the trilogies. You don't get the action pike packed fights. You don't get back to back um, attacks. Um, instead, you get people that are um, pot shotting, running, making the time uh, run out. And this is this is this is a. Um, this is an, an, an um, impersonation of what Floyd did. This is what he left behind in his legacy. And this is the type of fights we have. And now we have super low numbers. Because although he did do that, he did very good at marketing himself and creating um, a fan base that hated him, that watched him to lose. And these other guys, they don't have that charisma they don't um they don't talk shit and they're not getting that type of following so uh basically um excuse me i have the flu but basically um basically the sports i think the sports dying who the hell who the hell's even getting close to him is 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 um is um El the truth spence uh, uh an equal to to Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather 
he's the big guy. He's excited. He comes forward, but he's not. He's not moving up in. I think. And once he moves up in weight and starts beating some of the guys at higher weight classes, he's going to be at that level. Same thing for Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is not going to be become a pay per view attraction. And neither of those two, uh, and what I mean is Terrence Crawford or, or uh, Errol Spence will become pay-per-view attractions. Uh, the closer one is um, is uh, Errol the True Spence because of his uh, activity and, um, and resume. But the fact that he's gotten in an accident, it's going to cut that short and he's going to be more cautious uh, about his fights. And that's what I think, but... Everyone's saying the opposite. Everyone's saying that he's actually taking, um, he's throwing caution to the wind and he's just trying to fight, which um, I guess he will. I just don't think we'll see a lot of him in the future. Um, if he wasn't in an accident, I think he would be the next pay-per-view star, especially if he moves up in weight and comes back down and mixes it up. And you have to remember, these guys mixed it up, Boyd Floyd and... Um, Manny, they they went up and wait. Uh, uh, who is it? Floyd fought. Um, uh, Floyd fought some people. Uh, he fought um, Cotto. Um, so did Manny. Uh, he fought Margarito. They weren't the they weren't the, the strongest, most um, feared fighters, but um, they mixed they mixed it up. And 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 Manny Pacquiao was a tiny guy fighting. Uh, he wasn't even supposed to be in the welterweight division, so that made it exciting. And the fact that he was knocking out people that Floyd was winning via decision. But um, I'll leave it at that. Um, my conclusion is that boxing is nine and these guys are not. Um, they're not equals to um, uh, to those guys. And um, I think boxing is suffering to some degree. Uh, Ugas uh, in the welterweight division. Uh, he did beat Manny, but... He's not. He's not an immediate pay-per-view attraction. Um, when he beats or fights Errol Spence, uh, Errol Spence or uh, Terence Crawford, it won't. He doesn't have the action-packed style to win over the fans. Uh, we may follow him. I may become a fan of Ugas depending on what he does. But it's the it's the way in which they win. Um, uh, similar to, to Floyd, Floyd didn't make us fall in love with them. The running, all of that, um, it didn't make us fall in love with them. He got, he got a quite a bit of fans. Don't get me wrong, but you have to be a special type of guy to be, um, get a bunch of haters that want to see you lose and buy your, buy your, buy your fights. But we don't know if they were buying his fights or they were buying, they were, they were buying the opponent. Some of them, they were just buying the opponent. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this one, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.